Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Gamester81. Um, so, a little while ago I started putting together a list of some of my top uh, video game systems of all time. And uh, it started with 10 and then it reached to 25 and 50 and eventually it got to 100. Now, it's very, very hard to think of some of the top games that I really like. Because, you know, to be honest with you, I like, I like a lot of games. And uh, eventually I put together a list and I think it's a pretty good list. Um, it's, it's pretty broad. It, it covers about 25 different platforms of systems, um, and there's a whole bunch of genres in there, uh, which you guys will see. The beautiful thing about gaming, though, and being a gamer, is we all have our own opinions about uh, video games and what we like and what we play. So I definitely encourage you guys to put together a, a respon video response, or if you don't have a camera, put together a list on the comments below. I'd love to see you guys' list. I, I, the nice thing about this list is it's not going to be two of the same, uh, but let's get started with this list. Uh, this is going to be about a 10 segment video, uh, and because it's so hard to get all in one, uh, so you kind of have to bear with me here, but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, number 100 is uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery for the Genesis. Um, this game, if you guys haven't played it, it's an awesome game. Now, this game was also, it's by Sunsoft, came out in the 90s, you know, um, you know mid-90s, mid early and mid-90s. And it was, uh, there was a port for it for uh, the Super Nintendo, but it's a very different game for the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo version is a side-scroller. Uh, this uh, Genesis version, it's almost like a point-and-click adventure, kind of like the old Sierra games, if you're familiar with like, King's Quest, uh, Day of the Tentacle. Um, awesome game, definitely a preferred for the Genesis. Highly recommend this game if you haven't played it yet. Um, let's do uh, number 99. We've got um, Dagger of Aim and Raw. Uh, this is a, a Sierra Adventure game that I'm, I'm very fond of. Uh, it's for the PC. Uh, it came out in the 90s. Uh, it's an adventure point-and-click game. Um, and uh, the graphics are great. It's almost like watered colors, uh, hand-painted graphics. Uh, great. It's a mis murdery mystery game. Uh, very suspenseful. Uh, good storyline. Uh, definitely recommend it if you have a PC and uh, that can support this game still. Uh, and I really wish it was ported to other systems and formats, but unfortunately it wasn't. Uh, so check that out. Number 98 is House of the Dead 2. Uh, this game uh, for the arcade. Uh, great game. Also ported to the Dreamcast, which I have, and I have the light gun for it. And it's a fun game to play, especially co-op mode. Uh, it's very hard, and you get those, uh, those those like slugs that come off the ceiling and stuff. And uh, obviously there's, there's a number of uh, House of the Dead games. I think there's like four of them, or maybe more. But uh, it's a fun game for Sega. I love the Sega arcade games. Um, number 97, uh, X-Men Arcade. If you haven't played this game in the arcade, it's awesome. It's, uh, it's kind of a side scroller fighter, kind of like Final Fight. Uh, you've got like characters like Cyclops and, um, and Wolverine you can choose from. Uh, this game was never ported to any system again, and, which is really disappointing, but I used to love this game as a kid. It's an awesome game, and, and playing co-op is, is fantastic as well. Uh, the cabinet is just beautiful. I, I would love to own a, a stand-up X-Men arcade uh, one day. It's awesome. Um, let's do uh, number 96. This game just came out recently as well, and uh, it made my top 100 list. This is uh, Street Fighter 4 for either the PS3 or 360. Uh, this game is uh, it's, it's definitely, they've upgraded the graphics a lot. It's phenomenal, uh, but they've kept to the roots as well for the classic Street Fighter 2 game, and I uh, definitely highly recommend it. It's a fun game to play. And Capcom did a fantastic job of this game. It's made my top 100 list for that reason. Uh, number 95, uh, you got your Tetris for the Game Boy. Uh, okay, if you have a Game Boy, I'd be really surprised if you don't have Tetris for it. I mean, this game uh, it came packed in with Game Boy. It's one of the main reasons why Game Boy sold so many units initially, I believe. Um, and the, the music is great, and uh, it's just very hypnotizing music, and it's just awesome, and, and just the replay value is fantastic for this. I used to love playing two-player, where you connect the links, uh, the chain or whatever, and to the connection to the, the Game Boys, and it was fun. Um, number 94, okay. This game, if you guys ever seen Swingers, the movie, which is one of my favorite movies of all time, with Vince Vaughn, John Favreau, there's a scene in it where they're playing NHL 94. This game is one of my favorite hockey games. It is my favorite hockey game, and it's fun to play. Uh, in that particular scene, they're, they're making Wayne Gretzky's head bleed, and it's just it's freaking hilarious, and I, it's fun. Fun game, uh, great gameplay, uh, fun to play with player, uh, other people, and it's just really a really well-made uh, game. Um, 93? Okay, this is my only uh, Jaguar game that made a list. There, there's two Jaguar games I really highly recommend. It's uh, Tempest 2000 and uh, Alien vs. Uh, Predator. 
I'd have to pick LA versus Predator to make my list. Both are great games, don't get me wrong. You gotta pick up both if you have Jaguar, but Alien vs. Predator is just one of those really fun first person shooters. Uh, graphics are phenomenal. It's debatable if the Jaguar is really 64 bit, but these graphics are really, really good uh, for this game. You can either be the aliens, you could be the, the good guys. Um, you know, it was frustrating when you're good guys and you, shoot, you fire at the aliens, they bleed, and if you walk over their blood, you like it's like acid and it kills you, and it's really frustrating. But uh, number 92, kind of mentioned this game earlier, it's for the PC, it's Day of the Tentacle, the Lucas Arts game. It's actually the sequel to Maniac Mansion. Uh, and this is a really, really fun game to play. Um, graphics are great. Uh, it's a really funny game, and storyline is really funny too. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, number ninety-one. This is kind of a new new game as well. It's Drake's uh, Uncharted. It's for the PS3. This kind of reminds me a lot like Tomb Raider, but I really like it a lot better than Tomb Raider. Graphics are are outstanding. You got the water it looks so real, and just the colors are great. It's a little too short of a game. They are coming out. That's my only downfall of this. Uh, but uh, they're coming out with a sequel, which would be great to, to watch. And, and number 90. Okay, so if you're at a bar, sports bar, you've got one or two things that I'd love to play. you got pool, right? Um, you got shuffleboard, which is great. Also, I'd love to play Golden Tea. I mean, no bar is complete without a Golden Tea stand-up arcade. I love this game. I mean, it's a great beer drinking game. you got your rollerball. Uh, you can play online now. It's connected. And it's just a really fun game. So Golden Tea is my number 90. Uh, we'll get to uh, numbers 89 through 80 on my next video. Thanks for watching.